Hello, my name is Humphrey Chung and welcome to another Router Gods video. And in this video I'll be showing you how to tweak the CPU usage so that when you start your routers it doesn't take down the rest of your computer. So in our previous video we had a couple routers. In this one I'm just going to drag a single 2691 in there from the node types, get rid of that window, and zoom in a little bit. Alright. Now I'm going to start this up. and then open the Telnet window after my hard drive stops churning. And now I'm connected to the wonderful router. And we'll let that go through. So if you just started playing with Dynamips and GNS, at this window what you might want to do is open up your task manager and see how much of the CPU this program is using. And you can easily go to task manager by doing the control alt delete or a nice keyboard shortcut I recently learned is uh, Control Shift Escape. Hit those three keys, Task Manager comes up. Most likely, your computer is at a hundred percent. So the trick to solving this is you open up your router, click No there, and you let it go through the whole interface configuration. So you're basically going through and waiting for it to calm down. So looks like it's calmed down a little bit. So we'll keep that window open. Now you just right click on the, the particular router. And you'll see this wonderful thing called idle PC. So you'll click on that. And you won't get this error because I've already done it. So this is basically saying, you know, dummy, you've done one already. So I'll just uh, click yes. And what it's doing is it's going through different settings of the virtual machine and testing out which ones use the most CPU and which ones use the least CPU. It's going to bring up a wonderful pop-up window. You click the drop-down and you just basically select one that has a star by it. And we're going to pick this one since it's got a star by it and it has a 51. And I'm guessing what that means is 51% of the CPU, but I'm not exactly sure on that. We'll click that and click OK. Now, some of you, if you do this and you click the drop down, you might get a bunch of stuff, but nothing has a star. That's all right. You just run the idle PC again and as many times until you do get a star and then pick that particular one. We'll click OK and it applies that value. Now, you don't need to do this every single time because once you have it set for a particular router, in our case to 2691, it's going to remember that value uh, pretty much forever. And the next time you drag a 2691 in there, it's going to be fine. So now we're going to look at our wonderful task manager. Let's see how much of the CPU this is using. OK, so that's not too bad. I'm using about 30, 28 to 30 percent. Now, do realize that I am running a screen capture program, so that's using up a, a bit of juice already. Okay, so Camtasia actually is using a lot. All right, so basic gist of this is you start up the router, you go to the command line, you wait for the router to calm down, go through all of its interface stuff, you right click on it, go to idle PC, you let it calculate, Kind of taking a long time. Then you pick the drop down, you find the one with the star, you select it, and that's it. It's going to remember it forever, and you never have to do it again for this particular router, the 2691 or whatever you picked. Thank you very much for watching this video. Once again, my name's Humphrey Chung, and uh, talk to you later.